Hi, Nick Duffy here from Nick Duffy Golf and MMG Golf Performance. Here to talk a little bit about early extension. Um, this is an issue you tend to see with players who uh, tend to hit snap hooks. Better players who tend to get stuck from the inside, the feeling of being stuck. Um, just anyone who tends to get the club maybe too far behind them. So what this typically is or what early extension would be would be when you start in your downswing, would be getting too much thrust towards the golf ball if you're looking from down the line. So as you start getting taller and you have a little more trouble delivering that club consistently. So you see a variety of shots when people do this, some fat, some thin, so poor contact from just basically getting yourself too tall and having to try to save it with the hands. You also see a lot of people struggle with getting it too far under and then hitting snap hooks or big time hooks, path getting way too far to the right. Um, I know most people who, who are like me, who learned to kind of do this, did it from a place of learning how to hit a draw as a kid. So really high hands, and then as you start down, you learn to shallow it by humping it and letting it go. When your club head speed is not that high, it's not the, the worst thing to have. Um, it teaches you to have a little bit of power, but um, if you keep doing it on a daily basis, yearly basis, start getting stronger, it becomes more difficult, more and more difficult to um, keep it going and time it, trust me. So what I like to see is, first off, starting out with a good setup, because also another thing you'll tend to see is people too far away and feel like they're almost sitting back too much, but too far back. That's going to make you want to thrust a little bit on the way through. It's almost like counterintuitive. Um, sitting like that actually makes you thrust more. You think actually sitting your butt back and actually having that much room is going to, is going to make you maintain it, but it actually does the opposite. It makes you actually thrust and kind of stall faster. So if we set up a little better, a little more neutral with the hips, lower body, good solid setup. Now in our backswing, if we pivot properly, so you watch this stick on my this total golf train on my right hip, as I move it back, see how it moves behind me, I'm not letting my left side move closer to the ball. That's a big key. I'm not letting it go this way in the backswing, thrusting towards the ball in the backswing. I'm making this move behind me. So doing that is giving me a bit more room in the backswing and keeping me from thrusting early. Because what you tend to see is people who have a lot of thrust will also thrust a little bit in the backswing and then just thrust on the right side through the, the downswing. So the big goal here is to make sure we're turning our hips properly. Right hip high in the backswing. And then we're going to try to get that left hip to work around in the downswing and not the right hip thrusting towards the ball. If we can do that, we'll tend to actually um, do, do a better job of pivoting properly, not stalling out, and have better control of the delivery of the golf club into the ball. So um, overall, work on the setup and how your hips turn in the swing, and from there you should be able to start actually getting this to, to actually be a better position, better delivery of the club in the ball, and not have to worry about too much thrust. Thank you. Hey, Nick Duffy here again, just talk a little bit about uh, what we are chatting about earlier, which is just early extension. Um, just continuing on with uh, another way to kind of look at it. Um, so before we talked a little bit about how if you get too early extended, a lot of times that has to do with poor hip motion. So whether it be my left side of my pelvis moving towards the ball, a little bit of thrust in the backswing, and then the right side going thrusting as well, causing you to get jammed up around impact. Um, the other way that we, uh, we, we tend to talk about it a little bit um, is what's going on with the club face and path. So if you're someone kind of like me, you get a little early extended because you get the club face too open and far behind you. So my way to get it back out in front of me, early extend, put the brakes on my body, let the club go, get back out and square the face. Um, if I don't do that sometimes from that position, that ball is going miles right. Um, <laughs> the little block party I'll have there. Um, the other way to kind of work on it, the other issue you'd see 
is a guy who gets the face too open and path too far out. So once I get this kind of position, looking at my swing, normally you see more out of average golfers. Um, I need to do something to get this club back on the ball. So very rarely am I just going to keep rotating from there. You're going to miss the golf ball. So from that position, um, you got to do two things. First off, I like to take care of the club face first. So let's get the club face squared up first. Okay. So this club face is square. Very rarely you're going to see a guy keep swinging this way. They're going to tend to actually al almost want to come more from the inside. Um, but if that still is an issue, you still keep coming from the outside with a really shut face. Um, alignment may be a little bit of the issue as well. If that's still going on, then we're going to look a little bit on just barriers for path. So there's two things we kind of covered here. The main one being the better player early extension is the one where you see the club too far behind you with an open face, thrusting to kind of square the face. Average golfer one, which is club too out, face too open, and we're putting the brakes on to make contact with the golf ball. So out of those two, this should be a pretty good option for most players to, to work on it. Um, hopefully it helps you out. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any uh, questions you have.